As a 25 years of experience in life insurance career agent, Mr. P. Marujia Mohan believe in his great guru's teaching. A heart to love, a heart to give, a heart to serve. He has started his community service efforts at the age of 13, under the influence of his father. After meeting with his great guru at the age of 18, his efforts in social service has stepped up to another extent. Today, he is active in more than seven NGO in Penang and holding some important positions. Penang Net TV is sincerely invites you to visit his personal gallery at our site to know more about his efforts in social services. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Batman Adan. I am doing this social service. Yes. Uh, where are you from, uh, I'm from a Temple of My Arts and uh, I've been doing this service for nearly about five to six years already. Five to six years. Uh, Santa Clinic. Seo Santa Clinic. Uh, weekly Monday and Fridays. Fridays. So how long have you been in this century? Century almost, I mean this century here, is yeah, it? Century, century, I think since started, I'm already here already. Okay, that means yeah. in uh, October? Yeah, since October. Since October, uh, so you have been here for the medical camp? Yes, regularly I'll turn up for the so, medical uh, which area do you volunteer for? Mostly I will be taking mm -hmm. care of this uh, glucose level checking, uh, then uh, BP checking, and height and weight. And sometimes if there's not enough manpower for registration, I'll do for registration. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the uh, type of... Uh, uh, those who don't understand about the medical background, how to take care of their health, they don't understand. So at least when they come here, they can learn something. At the same time, we can give them some advice how to take care of themselves. And uh, the people who come here are mostly old people and they elderly people, and uh, they don't understand entirely what is health concern. So at least when they come here, the doctors are free. They can explain to them how to take care of themselves. So this. Yes, at least they can understand uh, how to educate themselves. So, uh, what are your motive, personal motivation for volunteering? Uh, actually, there's no special anything, but I love to do this kind of social service job. Uh, I'm, uh, I feel like helping human nature because one, as we want as a human being, everybody to help somebody in some other ways. Like if those who are financially very strong, they can give financially aid. Like myself, I'm not financially very strong, so I can give this out aid. As a human mankind, we should do something for human mankind. One human to another. Yes. Uh, once we are born as a human being, we have to do something good to the human beings. All right. I So you've been here in the sanctuary for the last. Camps yes, yes. So, what do you think about this? Uh, this one tremendously improving very fast. I see that uh, everything is moving very fast. I hope to see more development here and more people to come this area. <laughs> what about uh, this place in relation to medical But this place is a very nice place. But I think we need some more publicity. More publicity. More publicity to let surrounding people to know more about this. This is very important to to encourage people to come into here. Could it also be the mentality? Sometimes people put health and priorities. Sometimes, you know, this is not young world. Eh? Ah. People are looking for money only. No time to do look on these two things. But what about the elderly? They also have the same idea. But the problem, elderly people are not... Actually, the problem is when the younger generations are never bring them in. Oh, the younger uh, They should bring these elderly people. Elderly people, their mentality not so smart in these type of things. Eh? So the younger generations should bring them in. So at least they can know about these things. Yes. I think medical also something to do with prevention. Yes. So they can Yes, yes. So at least we, we talk to them, explain to them, at least they know what is health. So at least instead of getting worse, they can take care of themselves. And at the same time, they can take care of their grandchildren from the young age. They can put into their mind what is health. So you see some people some Yes. Yeah, I see. Since, uh, like you asked this question, it's very good. Earlier stage, those who came, uh, second time when they came, they know how to take care of it. Before they come, they are on diet. Yeah. Earlier, they never come on diet. They just simply come and check. Now they come on diet, they come and check. I want to do the sugar level, how is the sugar level. They are very eager to know all these type of things. Uh, ah, they are self-consciousness already. Yeah. This is very good for them. Also. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is very good. Yes, correct. You are right. Yeah, they are coming.
that makes us very happy to know that we can continue. Yeah, correct. So how else do you think we can reach out to people? Uh, Mostly, uh, we, we, should, we should go around and uh, counsel to them. Make counseling and go around like this, house to house, house, to house yeah. give pamphlets to them. In this way, maybe we can encourage more people to come. In fact, we have already given lots of pamphlets, but mm. somehow uh, I noticed Malaysia uh, yeah. oh, not so urgent about health mm. until they have yeah. Until they got a problem, then they start to come. This yes, problem. Yes. Got problem uh, yes, this is a problem with Malaysian attitude. Ah, not so uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so you feel that the door to go? Yes. But anyhow, even though they never come, we have to take our initiative to keep on doing. Keep on doing. Yes. This is the best thing we can encourage people to come in. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe they think that traditional medicine is more better for them, I think so. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. But I feel that normally like this type of holy places when they come and do praise everything, a normal patient, when they come and see a doctor, they feel they're satisfied and they feel it's cured. Uh, normally this is something. Even when you go to general hospital, it's different. But when you come to these holy places, you know, there is some kind of, a, you know, gravity or vibration is there. Yes, yes. So possible these are things. Uh. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. The gravity yeah. for them, that type of vibration, they will go back, they feel, oh, I'm cured. Early on, lady also told me, I come here, I go, many problems on my joint pain, everything she complained to me. After that, I come here once only, I feel quite okay really now. So maybe there's some kind of vibration here, I think so. I mean, there are some, some difference between yeah. the clinical place, like a hospital. Yeah, yeah. Home, Possible. Mm, yes, yes. Oh, I've read this uh, uh, very interesting book. Uh, uh, yes. 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 So, uh, Sure. I'll sacrifice my life here, no problem. Sure, sure, sure. Normally my friends used to come also, no problem. Sure. I can help out, no problem. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Kwe Ekwa from Rela Timor Lao. So I was assigned here to help out with the parking and also the security over here. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, volunteering this place. Uh, how many times have you been to this uh, free medical camp? Uh, I've been here three times already. Uh, the first one was in October. Uh, second one is, is second one was in November and the last one recently. Mm, the, the today one. Ah. Today right. one. Yeah. So how do you find this uh, this particular assignment as compared to your other uh, Rela assignment? Uh, I I'm very proud to be assigned to be here because I think it's a very good place and people are so I can see so many people volunteering to help the elderly. Uh, and I think we should promote this place to the public. More to the public, right? Yeah. Uh, did you uh, inform your friends to? Uh, to yeah, to I actually I have really informed my relatives, my family members, and also friends about this place because most of them are not aware of the place over here because it's a bit isolated. Mm. Although it's in Georgetown, but people are not aware of the place. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, how do you personally feel about uh, this century and the medical camp here? I think it's a good idea and the location is good, but we need more publicity. How do you think uh, we can improve on the publicity to get people to uh, participate in this camp? Maybe we should uh, promote at the hospital, clinics and also in the shopping complexes about this place. Mm -hmm. 
okay? Thank you for your uh, feedback. Thank you. I'm Dr. Vijay. I've been uh, uh, servicing in this uh, clinic for the past three years and I find that it is a very satisfying uh, experience where a lot of uh, poor people are benefiting from this clinic. I think it is a very good effort by the Shiva Shanta clinic as well as the, uh, the Bodhi Heart and it should be continued. Thank you.